This is probably the wildest hour of fishing I have ever had. Got one. That's good. That's good. A buddy and I waded up to our favorite spillway with only 60 minutes till dark and holy cow, it paid off. Got one. Oh, big smolly, big smolly. That's a big small. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I got probably the weirdest catch of my life. What are the odds of that? What? How does that make any sense? Stick around because I promise you are not going to want to miss this. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So this is going to be my flathead fishing home base right here. Ben's got one first cast. Little little yellow bass. Oh, he's... Oh, bait? Take that for bait. Okay, okay. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Okay, well, that's convenient. The first cast, we get a big shad. Okay, there's bait. Live shad. Shout out to Ben. Thank you for the bait. Okay, guys. Let's throw this guy out. How's that? Okay, I got my set up there with a live shad. Hopefully, I hear that before fish rips it into the into the river. Hopefully, I also don't forget that that's there and cast right into it. That'd be real awkward. Ben's hooked up. All right. I gotta remember to keep looking back at that rod back there. Make sure there's not a fish on it. Oh my gosh. Calm down, Ben. I gotta cast over there now. Ben's getting all the fish. Heck yeah. I hooked a good sized smallmouth right over here by this tree last time. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. That was over a pound. I saw him eat it. What was it? Smallmouth right here by this rock. Hold up, hold up, I got a fish on the rod. I got, I, oh my gosh. I got a fish on this rod. Oh, it's snagged on a rock. There was a fish on it though. Yeah, the shad's all beat up. We know there's like a billion catfish at this spot. And I've heard people tell me they caught big flatheads here. And I've seen a big flathead skeleton. So I, I know for a fact there are good sized flatheads here. Got one, got a fish. Decent. Just kidding, foul hooked. Snagged yellow bass. Remember when I called that decent? Yeah. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Get off. All right, we're good. Foul hooked fish just feel so much bigger. Got one. Oh, big smolly, big smolly. That's a big small. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's a largey? Well, it's still a really nice fish. Can you film me on your phone? That's got to be the biggest largey I've caught at this spot. That's like a three pounder. Come here, bud. Oh my god. That's a big one. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, buddy, look at that. Dang. That's a beast. That's a certified beast. That's probably a 19 and a half inch fish. I mean, that's. Maybe 18. That's a big bass. That's probably three pounds. It's surprising when you get a big largemouth in a river because this is like smallmouth territory, but they're here. 3.32. That's a big fish. There he goes. Oh, I got one. Another largey. Oh my gosh. Simmer down, sir. Thanks for biting though. Bass are nice, like largemouth and smallmouth, because they just they just aren't as slippery. They're not as slimy, so you just don't get crap all over your hands. We were catching them all in all in like there. Oh, I guess, yeah. I'll catch one right at his feet. Oh my gosh! I called it! No, he's around the log. Got him! <laughs> Dude, I casted three inches from your foot. It's a large mouth. Dude, I literally casted like three inches from your foot. That was hilarious. There are so many fish on this tree. Oh my goodness. Cast up there more. There's a really... Got one. That's good. That's good. Hopefully a small mouth. Hopefully a smallie. Oh, it's a largey. Okay. Thanks for biting. It's a, I guess it's a largemouth type of day at this spot. 
Ben caught a few smallmouth. I saw a smallmouth that I had hooked, but it, it wasn't that big. It wasn't nearly as big as that three pound large I caught. That was awesome. There's a fish. Good fish. Dude, you gotta come fish over here. That's a smallie. Yeah, you gotta come fish over here, man. Good size one, probably a pound. Maybe more than a pound. That's a, yo, that's a, that's a dang nice mama. That's a pound and a half. That might be legal. That's a nice fish. Munched it. What the heck is down his throat? It's like a little lure or something. Oh dang. It's, it's crawfish uh, pinchers down his throat. Dang. And uh, antenna. That's so cool. I hope you guys can see that on the camera. All right, thank you for biting smallmouth. This, this looked like the same size as the one that I hooked and lost earlier. See you, dude. That's gotta be four out of five casts, or maybe like four out of six. This is ridiculous right now. I just got bit again, are you serious? This is, this is wild. Do you need a crankbait? Cause I have a bunch if you want one. Dude, I literally, with that one, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a largey. Oh, he's fighting though. He annihilated it. Not really, I mean, it's not like down his throat, but the, the fight on this size of a fish was impressive. We're good. Another largey, see you, dude. This is ridiculous right now. It's like every three casts, every two casts, I hook a fish. And that catfish rod back there is, oh, oh yeah, okay, there's one on. This is the way to go out at this spot. I feel movement. I feel movement. No, he's not on. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my gosh, he ate the tail. Something ate the tail. So I threw last, my last cast was like over there. Now I'm throwing over here. Well, I'm glad we could end on a good trip. Cause this is, this is one of the better bite windows we've had at this spot. Surprised neither of us have caught a catfish yet. Usually this is a catfish spot. Oh, there we go, right next to me. Oh, that was a little small mouth, he came off. That's all right, that's all right. I did catch like a pound small mouth, so that was cool. There's something. What's that? That didn't feel like it bit, I wonder if that's a snag. No, it's another crappie, and it did bite. Every crappie we've caught today has been kind of decent, like at least 10 and a half, or at least 10 inches maybe. White crappie. Thanks for biting, dude. Oh no. I turned my camera towards you in case you fell, I'd get it. He fell in the spillway. Dude, literally I have to like, Use the photo you took last time of the close-up spillway and Photoshop me like this, like fall. <laughs> like you're gonna die, like, yeah. Well, that was a good little 20 minute bite window we had. You think we each caught like six or seven? A nice, one. nice. Nice. Heck yeah, Ben's hooked up with his best one of the day. Might be the best one. Oh yeah, that's a good largey. That's a really good largey. Heck yeah. That's 15 inches, that'll, that'll keep. You can throw that one in the cooler. We actually do have a cooler today, funny enough. Nice one. Now he thinks that he won. He thinks that he, his flopping did something. <laughs> All it did was tear my thumb up. Oh my gosh. Annihilated it, annihilated it. Smally, it's a small, no, no. Oh, that, well, that was a good smallmouth. That wasn't as big as the one you just caught, but it was close. Can I please get a flathead on that other rod though? Like, what do I, what do I need to do to catch a flatty? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's Yep, 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 yep. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, what? What, how, what, how? What is that? It's a yellow bass. 
How did I trade my cut bait for a yellow bass? How did that happen? There, there was a shad on this and now there's a yellow bass on it. How did it even get snagged with a circle hook? How does that even make sense? That's, what are the odds of that? What? I could literally just leave this on and cast it back out. I just traded baits. It's like hooked and everything. It's ready to go. How does that make any sense? Seriously, y'all, what are the odds of that? I had a shad on here. A fish starts going crazy with it. And then it's a, it's a yellow bass that got snagged on a circle hook and my shad is gone. What the heck? That, that's got to be the weirdest fish catch ever, at least for me. Does that count as a catch? All right, guys, we're going we're gonna to open up the cooler. Okay, what do I use here? I have a walleye head. This is going to smell. I have a walleye head and I have bluegill. I don't think I'm going to use the walleye head. We'll use a bluegill head. It's a little smaller. It's a little more eatable friendly. Okay, now I have a bluegill head because somehow the yellow bass took my shad. Don't understand that at all. Well, that casts further, that's for dang sure. Ben got a small mouth over there, a little one. Guys, it is super satisfying to have a good fishing trip here because I know that usually like the videos I upload at this spot are always like tons of fish because this is like the craziest hidden spillway ever. Um, and it's really sad. I guess this can be kind of like an announcement. Uh, I'm moving. I'm moving to Tennessee in like two or three days. I guess three days. I'm moving to Tennessee in three days. Uh, yeah, I got a job in Knoxville, so rest in peace, Illinois fishing videos. Now I will. I'll still have Illinois fishing videos. Like, you know, my mom lives in Illinois, and I've got friends here, so I'll be back to visit and fish and hit up my favorite spots. But at least for now, this is one of the last times that I'm going to fish this spot. And this is probably like my favorite fishing spot. So that's kind of sad, but it is awesome that we're having a good day here as like a send off. There's probably some of you guys, cause I know some of you guys who do fish here, the few people that do have messaged me about this spot. Uh, and some of you guys are probably going to be happy cause I'm going to stop like blowing it up on YouTube, but, but don't worry. I will blow up spots in Tennessee on YouTube. Not that that hasn't already been done. There's a ridiculous amount of fishing YouTubers in Tennessee. Ben's got a fish right now. What you got there, Ben? Largy? Oh, God. Yeah. Shout out to Ben. Ben showed me this spot. We went here for the first time together, but he, he's the one who like found it on Google Maps. We got some daylight left though. We're gonna keep fishing. Man, it's getting dark quick. I guess we are past the summer solstice already. Omar? Yeah. Oh. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh my gosh, that's a good size crappie. Heck yeah. That's a chunk. We're catching more crappie here today than I've caught in the past. I guess we're just catching more everything. This is a good day. Thanks for biting, dude. Wish we could catch a flathead on that catfish rod. Oh, nice. Oh, you got one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he's fighting like a smallie. Can we get a jump out of the water for this guy? That's a lot of head shakes. Yeah, it is a smallie. Called it. We're still catching them. Getting close to dark. Shout out to Wichter Paulus for that crankbait. <laughs> there we go. Or there he goes. What am I saying? I want to, I got to catch one more because I want to end on a fish. And I think that's pretty doable. I got it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh my gosh. And he bit too. That was violent. Well, guys, that is going to do it for me today. Super fun time. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.